This is the OTB Network. And they're off in the Appalachian. New Normal and Dos Lunas both have early speed. They come out to vie for the early lead as Fast Tip comes away running in third as they head down toward the first turn. New Normal from the outside has the early, early advantage a half length as Dos Lunas goes second against the rail. Fast Tip is third a length and a half. Winter Memories ground saving trip against the rail and fourth around the first turn. Blush and Bashful fifth between horses. Harlan's Ruby moves by to her inside to take over fifth. Santina Donned moves up toward the outside to take over the sixth spot now. My Redbird moves up the rail into seventh position off the first turn. Blush and Bashful drops back eighth through Fendia, ninth in the early going and parting words, tenth and last, 24 seconds the time for the opening quarter. New Normal, outward from the rail, leads at three parts of a length. Dos Lunas, second three parts of a length as they head for the far turn. Fast Tip is third up on the outside, three parts of a length. Harless Ruby toward the inside, fourth by two. And then Winter Memories, who is fifth down toward the inside. Santina Don is sixth up on the outside. My Redbird, seventh. Blush and Bashful, eighth. Ruthenia on the outside, ninth. And parting words, 10th, 49 seconds for the first half mile. New Normal has the lead by just a neck around the far turn. Dos Luna's second, three parts of a length. Fast tip, moves toward the center of the course in third. A quarter mile to come. Gap of two, Harlan's Ruby in fourth. Winter Memories is still fifth. We'll have to go toward the center of the course. Five lengths off the lead. My Redbird toward her inside. Dos Luna's New Normal, and now Harlan's Ruby getting through with Winter Memories there on the outside and fast tip in between those two. Late charge parting words toward the rail. Dos Luna's with the lead. Winter Memories runs on. Five Final 16th, Winter Memories alongside of Dos Lunas. Winter Memories takes the lead in the closing strides. Winter Memories for Jose Lascano and the Appalachian. And then it was Dos Lunas and Parting Words photo for fourth. at the post and they're off in the Hilliard Lions Double Dog Dare Stakes. Ember's Song comes out running for the early lead. Much Rejoicing is there up on the outside. Washington Bridge comes away third. Denomination and then Blushing Dixie, who's fifth for the move into the first turn. Ember's Song, the early leader, starts to clear the inside traffic now midway on the turn. Leads it by a length and a half. Denomination moves up the inside. Much Rejoicing moves from the outside and now takes second. Blushing Dixie now goes to third, just outside Denomination, who's tucked away to the inside in fourth. Milwaukee Appeal fifth. Riviera Chic between horses is sixth and just four lengths off the early lead. Washington Bridge shuffled back seventh down toward the inside. It's tea time is eighth. Check the label ninth. Satan's Quick Chick is tenth. The gap of two more. Legrand Bay Ladora, eleventh and last. Twenty-three and four-fifth seconds the time for the opening quarter. Ember's Song leading Much Rejoicing by a length midpoint the back stretch. Milwaukee Appeal moves up on the far outside to challenge for second. Denomination, then Blushing Dixie in between horses. Riviera Chic, five lengths off the lead, outward from the rail in the sixth spot. Washington Bridge down toward the inside, still six lengths off the lead into the far turn. Then it's tea time. Check the label. Satan's quick check. And finally Legrand Bay Ladora. Ember Song comes to the quarter pole. Leads it by two lengths. Milwaukee Appeal far outside second. Now much rejoicing. Regains second between horses. Denomination down toward the rail takes third. Milwaukee Appeal has lost some ground around the far turn. Washington Bridge swinging wide off the turn, still seven lengths off the lead. Ember Song leads it by two and a half lengths. Much rejoicing second. Washington Bridge and check the label. Check the label coming late from the outside. It's tea time on the grandstand side. Final furlong. Check the label. Running after Ember Song. Ember Song. Check the label. Ember Song hangs on by a head to give John Velasquez four wins on the day and takes the Hilliard Lions double dog dare.
and they're at the post. And they're off in the bit ally stakes. X high is quick into stride. Dean's kitten there up on the outside. Researcher comes away in third, and then stay put down toward the inside. And Mr. Mardi Gras will be the trailer in the early going as they head down into the first turn. X high right up front where he likes to be and gets over to the rail, leads it by a length and a half midway on the turn. Dean's kitten goes second a half length. Researcher is tucked neatly against the rail in third a length. Stay put moves up a closer fourth in between horses, and Mr. Mardi Gras three lanes off the rail in fifth toward the center of the track as they move off the first turn. The opening quarter went in 25 seconds. XI sets the tempo, leads at three parts of a length. Dean's Kitten goes second in between horses, stay put third on the far outside. Researcher stays down toward the inside and fourth, just two lengths off the lead, midpoint of the back stretch, and a gap of two to Mr. Mardi Gras, who backs away in that fifth spot now, following an opening half mile in 49 and one-fifth seconds. XI and Javier Castellano take the field to the far turn, leading it by a length. Dean's Kitten second and between horses three parts of a length stay put third up on the outside researcher still fourth still down toward the inside and mr mardi gras the trailer midway on the final turn x high the leader three parts of a length dean's kitten the closest threat he's second by two researcher picks up the tempo but still third against the rail three and a half lengths off the lead with a quarter mile to come stay put is fourth and mr mardi gras fifth and last x high chased by dean's kitten into the stretch x high a short lead dean's kitten second researcher switching lanes to the outside third still three lengths off the lead final furlong of the Ben ally x high shaken up by javier castellano and has the lead by a length and a half dean's kitten second researcher than mr mardi gras it is x high returning to the races in fine fashion with a front running victory for castellano in the Ben ally dean's kitten second mr mardi gras third researcher fourth And they're off in the Giants Causeway. Stormy Publisher outrunning for the lead. Rose Catherine down toward the inside. Holiday for Kitten between horses. Speedacious moves up into third. Rose Catherine goes fourth now down toward the inside as Holiday for Kitten goes to the lead. And then further back, Mitzt is down toward the inside in the fifth position. Wild About Marie goes sixth up on the outside. A break of two and a half more lengths to Chantilly Nela in seventh, followed by Sweet Gladys in eighth. Awkward move for Mitzt into the far turn. Took a bad step and lost about three lengths. And then further back, you've got Ladies Lab after next to last. Lunar Mist is the trailer. Holiday for Kitten is the leader and she's chased by Speedacious with a quarter mile to come. Stormy Publisher put to a drive, not responding yet. And third on the outside, Rose Catherine in behind horses now takes over the third spot and Rose Catherine changes lanes toward the outside. Wild About Marie dives toward the rail but is fifth. Final furlong, Holiday for Kitten, Speedacious, Rose Catherine, Wild About Marie moves forth toward the inside. Holiday for Kitten, Speedacious, Wild About Marie inside. Rose Catherine fourth. Holiday for Kitten, Wild About Marie. Holiday for for Kitten, Wild About Marie, Holiday for Kitten, takes the Giants Causeway, Wild About Marie came up the inside second, then Speedacious and Rose Catherine. They're at the post. And they're off in the Coolmore Lexington. Casper's Touch being sent from the outside. And Casper's Touch going to try to clear all the inside traffic for Alan Garcia in the opening strides as Silver Medallion comes away in the second position as they head down into the first turn. Prime Cut goes third. Tap Town is wide out toward the center of the track in the fourth position, moving midway on the turn. Hurricane Lake is fifth in the early going. And Derby Kitten sixth and last against the rail, but right there. Casper's Touch leads it a length and a half off the first turn. Prime Cut moves alongside of 
Silver Medallion contesting the second spot, now just off the leader's flank. Then a gap of three more lengths to Tap Town, Hurricane Lake next to last, and Derby Kitten the trailer. Opening quarter went in 23 and four fifth seconds. Casper's touch toward the inside now leads at three parts of a length. Prime Cut travels along second on the outside by a length. Silver Medallion goes third by two. And then Tap Town, Hurricane Lake, and Derby Kitten still at the back. The opening half mile went in 47 seconds. Into the far turn, Casper's touched the leader, still three parts of a length, and now Tap Town moves up on the far outside, prime cut between those two still seconds. Silver Medallion against the rail is fourth, two and a half lengths from the lead. Hurricane Lake on his outside, and Derby Kitten last, but still right there with a quarter mile to come. Casper's touch, a short lead off the turn. Prime cut now tries to draw alongside, gap of two, Silver Medallion third right behind the leader, Derby Kitten fourth and swinging toward the outside, final furlong, prime cut, challenging Casper's touch, Derby Kitten far outside, Silver Medallion fourth, Derby Kitten running on from the outside, here's Derby Kitten charging from last to first, what a day for the Ramsey stable, Derby Kitten takes it for Julian Leperu capturing the Coolmore Lexington in one minute, 42 seconds. And they're off. Crunch play at the beginning for Luz Blush, who's squeezed back. Weeper comes out first from Valare Cantari and Baltimore Bell and tripped unhurried, taken back on song and Loves Blush trailing into the first turn where Weeper shows the way from Valare Cantari second and tracking the lead is Baltimore Bell in third. On song is about mid flight there, fourth spot and tripped in Loves Blush is last and seven lengths off a pretty easy pace going up front for Weeper. Weeper's a neck in front from Valare Cantari. Length and a half more, Baltimore Bell relatively unhurried in third. And Song is skimming the inside in fourth and gliding along about five or six off the lead. Loves Blush and Trip trailing the field. 24 and four was the opening quarter with five furlongs left to go. Weepers out there, pace controlling three parts of a length from Valari Cantari. Baltimore Bell races off the inside. And Song and Loves Blush have four to make up now and Trip trails 49 half mile. Into the fire turn, less than a half mile to run. Weeper still there. Weeper trying to take that speed all the way from Valari Cantari. Tari, Baltimore Bell, and Song's asked the question out of the fence. Loves blushed and tripped. They're down to the 5 16th pole midway on that final turn. Weeper, Weeper still there. Weeper tries to open it up a gear from Baltimore Bell and Valari Cantari fully ridden to try to stay pace now. And Song has every chance to kick it on the inside. Loves blush is wide and tripped into the stretch. Weeper, Manuel Chavez, Baltimore Bell to the attack, and then Valari Cantari. And Song's come off the bit there, fourth for long left to go. Weeper, Baltimore Bell trying to get by under a stiff drive on the outside. Baltimore Bell even turns to Weeper when they're close to home where Baltimore Bell and Julian Pimentel to take the Dahlia Stakes. Baltimore Bell length in three quarters. Weeper second and Valare Cantari third. Here at the post, they're off in the whimsical stakes. Wild Cat Marie on the inside, Ariana D. And to their outside is a Shukriya showing early speed. Shukriya and Wild Cat Marie hook up in the run along the backstretch. Wackamock comes on to the inside, takes over third. Who Why is fourth and two and a half lengths from the front. Then Indianapolis, who's gathered back in fifth position, and Ariana D trails this field 22 and one for the opening quarter. And it's Wildcat Marie who lengthens that advantage with three eighths to go. 
Shoot Kriya's on the outside in second. Who Wise being called on for run. Wakama's down toward the rail. Ariana D from five lengths back in Indianapolis trails this field with under a quarter of a mile to go. Wildcat Marie at the top of the stretch rattled off a half in 44 and 2. And it's Wildcat Marie. Shoot Kriya. Ariana D down the center of the racetrack. Tyler Pizarro and Wildcat Marie trying to get it done, and it looks like they will. Wildcat Marie, wonderful in the whimsical. Ariana D was second. A show photo between a closing Indianapolis and Shukria.